I came out to the mountains to do one thing. A scene-by-scene recreation of Peter McKinnon's film, The Bucket Shot. But rather than Peter McKinnon, it would star this empty KFC chicken bucket instead. But before we even got started, there was a problem. The most important part to recreating the bucket shot correctly is having snow. And unfortunately, it is very cold this week, but there is no snow in the forecast. So this project is canceled. Sorry, dude. Don't you just hate it when people do intros like that? Like obviously I came in here to set up this camera and I went back outside and I scanned the card to get in. Here we are, Lake Louise. Going to bed super early tonight because I have to wake up at 4.30ish in the morning to actually get up to Moraine Lake. The parking lot uh, traditionally fills up very early. We're here in September, which means it's also largest season, which is just basically beautiful fall colors and the late, it, it's a really nice place to be. People wake up very early to get, to get their hike on and by early, I mean by about maybe 5.15, 5.30, the parking lot will be full. So yeah, that's all for the first, first day here. Hope that, hope that you enjoyed the drive in, I guess. See you in the morning. It's now about four in the morning. I woke up a little bit earlier because there are some stars in fact happening out at Maureen Lake. So I'm gonna drive up there now and hopefully get some good starscapes over the uh, lake. Now there's a man swimming in Lake Louise. I think the boat might have dropped him off at the back. I stopped paying attention for a little while and then he swam all the way here. Unsubstantiated claim, but there's a man in the water. I've come up here to one of my favorite locations in Lake Louise, which is the, the third floor of the parking garage at the, uh, the Chateau. Lake Louise and uh, the reason I like it up here is because one you kind of get a little bit of a better view of, of the mountain right here with the beautiful golden larches up there as well as you have a corner of the hotel so if you want to add that to your scene uh, just to give either a sense of humanity or a sense of scale to the image. In photos the water looks really blue but in real life it kind of looks like weird bath water. One common complaint that I hear with the Canon R6 is that it's only 20 megapixels, which for weddings, portraits, I think that's fine. For something that you actually want to print very large, it might pose a little bit of a challenge. Uh, what I do is I just do panoramas. So rather than just taking this image as one single still frame and having that 20 megapixel file, what I'll do is I'll do vertical panoramas. So I'll do across the top, across the bottom, which builds you a 100 megapixel file that you can do a heck of a lot with. This light's not so good. If only I had a Gary Fong light sphere. Turns out all along I was already ready to go I guess you just didn't know Maybe a tip if you ever want a tourist location like this uh, to yourself for photos and also calm water because all the all the boats are out of the water now. Uh, just come later. It's not even it's not even golden hour yet. It's not even sunset, and already everybody's kind of cleared out. One of the best spots here at Emerald Lake is right beside the canoe rental. What you're getting is a, a beautiful white bus. But you're getting the canoes here with the, the bridge going to cilantro the restaurant it looks really nice you 
We're now heading into the uncertainty of Mountain Golden Hour. Looks promising over here with clouds so far, but kind of gray and almost looks like it might rain over this way. Got some light up on this, way. wow. And here comes the grand reveal. Ooh, that's gonna make a very nice photo. Look at that. So this is kind of a once in a lifetime thing. So I'm gonna keep moving down this way so I can get more of this specific mountain. This one looks awesome, but I don't know if there's anything I can really do with it photographically. So let's uh, continue our tour this way. What I am going to do is build a panorama here. Also, I'm filming all this on GoPro, which is why it's kind of potato quality and such beautiful, dynamically rich situations. We call that a successful day of photography. Waking up to the stars, Moraine Lake, followed by the beautiful light on the mountains here. Emerald Lake, see you tomorrow. So there you have it. That's how you photograph a cover for a textbook that you get to read in school in geography class. <laughs> We've done it. I didn't make it very far before discovering something else that looked very photographically interesting. There's a bridge over here, some very beautiful water and mountains in the background. So I am going to see if I can get on that bridge. I don't want to, again, obstruct traffic. I don't want to be that guy. But if there is a little walkway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a walk out there and maybe grab some photos. Confirmed there is a pathway for pedestrians that I could set a tripod up on. I guess as a bit of an update for what I got up to today, I built a, a wooden camera and this, this video might be coming out soon. I had to fix it with gaff tape, but, but I built it and I have no idea if the film worked. So if the film doesn't work, you're probably not gonna see the video, but if the film does work, I made this from, from wood today. So just off the main highway here, there is the old highway, Highway 1A. And it is a much more scenic drive than the actual highway. If you want to get somewhere fast, use the, use the main highway. If you want the scenic route, take this highway here. There's a curve called Morant's Curve, and it is a, it's probably a photo that you've actually seen before, and it's kind of the, the curve around the river with the train tracks on the one side. I'm going to do a long exposure of that so the water's nice and, nice and blurred out. And then I'm also noticing the larches up here are absolutely phenomenal. So I'm gonna bring out my 70 to 200. Welcome to the Banff Springs Hotel. This was the first hotel that they built when they decided that they wanted to turn this entire region into a, a nature Disney land. It's probably not what they called it, but it was always the intention to make this a tourist place. They basically needed a reason for people to get on the train that's, that's over here, the railway that they built and they blasted through the mountains. They needed a reason for people to actually come out here, so they built this hotel and it is phenomenal. Uh, across the river, there is a place called Secret Corner that's not so secret, it's on Google Maps. And you just kind of drive to it and you get this beautiful shot of the Banff Springs Hotel with the trees and everything. So we're gonna go take that photo. And I'm gonna bring my tripod because it's really, really windy right now. So the trees are gonna move if I try to do a long exposure and they'll just turn into blobs. But I might do something where I do a long exposure and just take the water from that frame and then do the same frame without an ND and just do the, uh, the everything else frozen in time. I got very preoccupied finding coffee and I actually forgot my tripod. So uh, unfortunately we will not be able to do the photo that I just mentioned, but we still will go to the secret corner. So it seems like this rain is temporary. It looks like it's just one big cloud. So I'm gonna drive up the Mount Norquay. There's a lookout about halfway up and I suspect that it might look pretty cool assuming that the blue sky is what I'll be seeing and not the not the rain cloud.
So that is three days in the mountains. Heading back to my hotel for the last night, I was met by some unexpected guests. And if you ever are in a situation like this, stay in your car, poke your head at the sunroof, do some filming, do some photos from there. They won't really see you as a, as a human being if you do that, and they won't, they won't run away. If you are interested in seeing more of the Canon R6, uh, subscribe to this channel. I recorded an additional 17 videos over these three days, so I'll be editing and releasing those. So subscribe, turn the bell on if you want to see when those go up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.